hello guys welcome to our youtube channel in today's video i am going to explain another shopware module that is shopware show price after login this is a very simple module yet so important because this is going to provide you an extraordinary feature let me talk about it so this module is going to allow the store owner or the admin to display or hide the product price and add to cart button after the login what i mean is if the customer is not logged in for the guest users the add to cart and product price won't be visible so the customer will only be able to see the product price or he will be able to you know click on this uh, shopping cart button add to cart button or will be able to ultimately place the order for any of the product only if he is a logged in customer so admin has this option to enable or disable this feature from the back end so admin can choose a particular product to hide its product price and add to cart button as per his wish if he doesn't want he can you know keep it default so the admin can hide the price for any product the price will not show until the customer uh, you know does not log into the store the customer cannot add the product to the cart without login at the place of add to cart button there is a login button that says login to view price which redirects to the login page so that means customer would have to log in to you know um, further place the order or to see the or view the product price so before we dive further into the workflow of the module please subscribe to our channel and yes do not forget to press the bell icon so that you do not miss any update or notification from our channel so let's now quickly jump into the workflow of the module so this is the admin panel of the module and after the successful installation of the show price after login module you can find this plugin in this setting i hope that you are aware of this uh, uh, functionality that where there you can find in the system you can find plugins and under this plugins you will find all the plugins that you have installed so the main thing that i need to do i'll go to the product section and i assume that you know how to create a product so basically here you will find the list of already created products all those products which are there on your store from where you can create a new product by clicking on this add to add product button now if you select any product you can edit it also so let me select one of the product and let me edit it so to show this uh, show price after login option so you know there this is the product edit edit page so like uh, whenever either you are editing a product you are creating a product you need to configure this uh, you know certain tabs like advanced pricing and all other variants cross sellings and all so you will scroll it down and uh, you know after configuring all these values while creating a new product or uh, you know just to edit a product uh, you just need to scroll it down and uh, there you will find one option which uh, which is uh, here we go uh, here we go here we go Mm, custom fields yeah so here you will find one option that that says custom fields so under the custom fields you will find this toggle button and you will find show price after login option so uh, you know you just need to um, to use this uh, toggle button to enable or disable the custom field so once you uh, you know click on this uh, toggle button so let me click on this uh, toggle button once so uh, like the moment I'll click on this uh, toggle button it will show you the list of all those custom field sets that you can set up so if I you know let me click here so once I click here you can find this drop down menu here and from the drop down menu you can select this a show price after logging so you know we are doing to you know enable this feature so here you can see that this uh, particular feature is already enabled for this product you can disable it from here so the admin can choose if he wants to enable this feature or disable this feature for a particular product this is you know completely depends uh, completely depends on his wish if he wants to provide this feature to a particular product or not for this particular product it is enabled so uh, you know i'll switch to the customer work uh, customer end and uh, while showing you the customer workflow i'll show you about this product so uh, that's all about the admin panel let's go to the customer end and in the customer end i'll be showing you uh, about this mineral water product i'll be showing you how the uh, this thing will be available or not so if a customer has not logged into the store if the customer does not log in into the store he will not be able to find the product price and the add to cart button so this is the category page or the product collection page so let me scroll it down now here you can find that for all these products products uh, you know at the place of add to shopping cart you are finding this button that says login to view price that and also the product prices for all these products are not visible so this is why because the user is a guest user he is not logged in to the store so for a guest user who has not logged into the store uh, he will not be able to see the product price and 
um, and the add to cart button now coming to the uh, product page so this is the product page on the product page also uh, at the place of uh, add to shopping cart button you will find this login to view price also the product price is not visible here also on the product page so the custom because the customer is not logged in so uh, for this particular product as I uh, you know shown you in the admin panel this particular feature is enabled that's why it is not showing off here for all these products this feature has been enabled now if you click on this login to price button this will directly you to the registration page or the login page where the customer has to log in with his credentials otherwise you won't be able to see the details now I have logged in now see that the you know I have logged in with the credentials so for a logged in customer now I am as a logged in customer I am able to see the price of the product and now I am able to uh, you know see this add to shopping cart button where I can click and I can place my order but before it was not available because uh, I was not logged in as a customer I was you know using it as a uh, guest user that's why it was not visible similarly on the product page because i am a logged in customer the product price is there the shopping cart button is there earlier it was not because i was i was not logged in so similarly you will find this add to shopping cart button you will find the product price here so the next thing is you know coming back to this uh, collection page and you know uh, going to this you know sure uh, you know search uh, search page so e even if you type any of the product on the search page and uh, if you f try to find a product and if, if the customer is not logged in even on the search page the customer will not find the price of the product and add to shopping cart button if the customer you know logs into the store then if he tries to search a particular product in the search bar and if that product appears so then he will be able to uh, you know view the product price and the add to cart button otherwise uh, the customer cannot view the product price and add to cart button on the search page also so let me find the similar product here that is the mineral water wala so mineral water one product is there and uh, so there i can find on the you know the product this is the product which where i you i i had shown you so you know because uh, so i have actually logged off you know logged out so again because i logged down uh, logged down uh, so logged off from this so there you cannot find this add to shipping cart button you will find this login to view price so again now coming back to this uh, search page thing so uh, if i uh, if you search a pay, you know product on the search page on the search page even as I told you you will find this login to price button because you are not logged in now if I log in if I so let me log in again so if I log in now on the search page I will be able to find the product price and add to shopping cart button now here it is now here you can see that on the search page the product price is there and I add to shopping cart button is there earlier it was not because I was not logged into the store so this is how basically this module works and uh so so the crux of the module is that the admin can control which product he wants to hide for the you know uh, for the product price and the add to cart button so you know because it is available now so i have clicked on this add to cart button and i'm placing the order and then the customer will be able to place the order only after login to the store if he is if he is not uh, logged into the store he will not be able to place an order so as i have shown you that i have logged in then i'm able to uh, process the order and submit the order so here i'm placing my order with this so i'm submitting my order and uh, there you'll find that thank you for your order so i have successfully placed the order so this is all about this uh, uh, shop bear show price after login module i really hope that this video helped you out in understanding the workflow of the module if you still have any query doubt suggestion please get back to us at support at the rate webcool.com you can also raise a ticket at uh, uvdesk.webcool.com thanks for watching the video goodbye